Thank you, Mr. Deputy Speaker. Well, as Mr. Kelly just said, the press has to be independent as well as free. We're very good here at pointing the finger at others. We're not always so good at looking a little bit closer to home. The European Parliament spends hundreds of thousands of euros every year on buying itself good press coverage by bringing journalists, particularly local reporters, over to Brussels and Strasbourg and showing them a good time, or indeed by compromising accredited correspondents in the EU by making them advisers on media issues or editors of EU-funded newsletters or websites. We've created such uh, an atmosphere of dependency and civility among some of the press corps here that simply to have a normal functioning critical press horrifies people, as Mr Brock is now in his usual uh, bellicose and, uh, and oafish way demonstrating by shouting at me. Simply to have a balanced press as we have in the United Kingdom, where you have papers on both sides and media channels on both sides, some pro-EU, others uh, anti-EU, always uh, produces the Brock kind of bellowing and eye-rolling because people are so accustomed to lack of criticism. That is not healthy for anybody.